Hi guys, I hope you are doing great today. You are going to learn what are microservices and their pros and cons. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about binary search tree with its implementation? If you are new here, I am Hassan and I post Java tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. Watch this video till the end because I am going to give you a bonus, so don't miss it and watch till the end. If you have any questions, comment now on this video. Let's start today's session. Microservices is an architectural style that structures an application as a collection of its small independent services that communicate with each other through well-defined APIs. These services can be developed, deployed and scaled independently, allowing for faster development and development cycles. One of the main benefits of microservices is that it allows for more flexibility and scalability in the development process. Instead of having a monolithic code base that is difficult to maintain and scale, microservices allow for smaller, more manageable code bases that can be developed and deployed independently. This also makes it easier to make changes and updates to specific parts of the application without affecting the entire system. Another advantage of microservices is that it allows for greater fault tolerance. If one service goes down, it does not necessarily mean that the entire application will fail as the other services can continue to function. This makes it easier to handle and recover from failures resulting in a more robust and reliable application. However, there are also some downsides to using microservices. One of the main challenges is that it can be difficult to manage and coordinate communication between the various services. Additionally, there may be increased complexity and overhead in terms of monitoring and debugging as it can be harder to track down issues that span multiple different services. In conclusion, microservices is an architectural style that can bring many benefits to your application such as flexibility, scalability, and fault tolerance. However, it also brings its own set of challenges such as increased complexity and coordination. It's important to weigh the pros and cons before deciding to implement microservices in your application. In the next video, I'm going to talk about what is Kubernetes, what problem it solves. So subscribe to this channel now and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the video.